after having a basic knowledge about how we read pure tone audiograms, now I want to drag your uh, attention towards two very important conditions that these questions are routinely asked in your exams. These questions uh, are given much more importance because these graphs, they help us in diagnosing the conditions. So first is autosclerosis. Autosclerosis, how do we diagnose on the basis of pure tone audiogram is autosclerosis uh, causes conductive deafness. This is a very important question that is routinely asked. But does it cause only conductive deafness? No. It can cause conductive deafness, it can cause mixed deafness, it can cause sensorial deafness depending upon whether it is cochlear autosclerosis or it is stapedial autosclerosis. Most of the conditions are due to stapedial autosclerosis that cause conductive deafness. Cochlear autosclerosis is very rare. So we will concentrate only towards stapedial autosclerosis. Stapedial autosclerosis causes conductive deafness. So this is a graph which is showing there is no dip in bone conduction. Bone conduction is normal. There is significant AB gap. This can be uh, anything more than 20, say 35, 40, anything. This graph they can draw like this also. But thing is, AB gap should be more than 20 decibels. So there is a condition in which AB gap is more than 20 decibels. 20 decibels means conductive deafness. Now, other thing what we should see in this graph is, in bone conduction, there is a dip at 2 kilohertz. Bone conduction dip at 2 kilohertz. This dip is not in air conduction. AB gap is there, dip is at bone conduction and dip is not at air conduction. So this is Carhartt's notch. This is Carhartt's notch typical of autosclerosis or rather I should say typical of uh, ossicular fixation. Not specific for autosclerosis, but yes, questions are asked only about autosclerosis. But this is of any ossicular fixation. So two things you should always note, three things rather. First, AB gap. Second, dip in bone conduction at 2 kilohertz. Third, dip is not replicated in air conduction. So this is true Carhartt's notch. Why I am telling you this? Because see the other graph. There is no AB gap or if there is AB gap, it is not more than 20 decibel. It is less than 20 decibel. So there is no conductive hearing loss. Plus, though dip is seen at 2 kilohertz, dip is also getting replicated in air conduction. I said Carhartt's notch never replicates in air conduction. So this is false Carhartt's notch. This is not because of autosclerosis. Always you should keep three things in mind. There should be AB gap. There should be a notch in bone conduction and only bone conduction. There should not be a notch, notch in air conduction. So this is true Carhartt's notch. This is false Carhartt's notch. Don't take it as autosclerosis. This is one condition which I wanted to tell you. Second condition. Second condition is dip at 4 kilohertz. Always see whether the dip shown is at 2 kilohertz or 4 kilohertz. 2 kilohertz with AB gap is autosclerosis. 4 kilohertz without AB gap is uh, noise induced hearing loss. This notch is known as boiler's notch. So question do come. They will give you an audiogram. This is boiler's notch typically of NIHL noise induced hearing loss. Dip is seen at 4 kilohertz. Dip is seen in bone conduction as well as air conduction. The dip is getting replicated. This is a sensory neural hearing loss. Autosclerosis is a conductive hearing loss. But why dip is shown in bone conduction? This is because some amount of bone conduction that do travels through auto uh, stapes. And what is the proof that this is not actual sensing your hearing loss? Once we do stepidectomy or stepidotomy for autosclerosis, this notch tends to disappear. So that shows that it was not actual sensing your hearing loss, though uh, 
it was showing in bone conduction so these are two conditions which you always should remember 2 kilohertz notch ab gap notch only in bone conduction 4 kilohertz notch both in bone conduction and air conduction this is boiler's notch noise induced shearing loss this is carhart's notch autosclerosis or ossicular fixation thank you